I don't think anyone voted two years ago to be poorer, and I think people want their say on whether or not we should go ahead with this. But, but if you recall, as I'm sure you do, to virtually two years ago, there was no suggestion that we'd do it all again once we knew the terms. Why should that suddenly be introduced now, Lord Adonis? I know you're going to say oh, well, because we're heading towards... But it, a lot of people, you must be aware, a lot of people aren't just going to be annoyed by this. They're going to be downright furious because they've done it once well, and they feel that, not you personally, but politicians should get on and just do it. Well, the truth... The truth is, Nick, two years ago, nobody had the faintest idea what was going to happen if we voted to leave. Uh, David Cameron, what I, th- I think was, uh, was, a, was a huge mistake. He put in no provision to what was going to happen. He was so sure that there would be a majority for staying in the EU that there was nothing in the parliamentary arrangements, which were agreed as part of the, um, as, as part of the referendum, to take account of what would actually happen. But, of course, we are a democracy, so there has to be a process by which we negotiate terms uh, either Parliament or the people can review those terms before they go ahead, as I say, in exactly the same way as if you're buying a house. And what we're doing, I think, isn't a, a threat to our, our democracy. It's a, it's a complete vindication of our democracy, because what's happening is a proper democratic process by which we're considering the terms of the deal, which we're going to have to enter into with the EU, and we're deciding whether, on mature reflection, we want to go ahead. When George Soros says, ultimately, it's up to the British people to decide what they want to do, many would say they already have... So why are you supporting this? What, what gives him the right, effectively, to tell the British people to do it again? 